mathematicians, my name's Miss Shay, and today I'm going to help you grow your math brain. Now before I can add more information into that math brain, we have to warm up. So I want you to turn on your thinking brain, and while I'm talking, where are we going to keep our hands? Put your hands in your lap, in your lap. Yeah, because what we do with our hands goes all the way up to our arm and straight to our brain. And so when we're playing with things or doing other things with our hands, we can't get our learning done. But if we have our hands right in our lap and we're sitting up so straight and tall, it's going to send messages to our brains to grow it. And so before I can teach you something new in math, we need to warm up. And remember what I said, what we do with our hands goes straight to our brain. Well, lucky for us, we have math tools that we can take everywhere. And those are called our fingers. Can you show me your fingers? Fingers, yeah. Did you know that our math tools can help us count? Wow. So our job, we're going to start at zero. And we're going to count all the way up to 10 using our new math tools. When I say got it, you say check. Got it? Got it? Check. Wow. Starting at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Give yourselves a hula hula if you just counted with me. Hula hula, hula hula. Now show me ten fingers. Yep, we got it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I'm going to give you a number and I want you to count up and stop at ten. The number I'm going to give you is two. What number comes after two? Put it in your brain. Two. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, stop. Show me stop. Okay, where did we stop? What number did we stop on? 10. Look at you warming up your math brain. Put 10 in your brain. Now we're going to count down. So what number comes before 10? Oh yeah. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Stop! Oh, I bet you didn't know I was going to do that. Stop! You guys give your brains a kiss. So smart. Now we're going to keep warming up our math brains with a number talk. Okay, so we went through some numbers that we already know how to count. But this number talk allows mathematicians to use what they know in their brain and talk about it. And then when we do our math job today, we can build on our number talk. Got it? Did you say it? Check. Do it with me. When I say got it, you say check. Got it? Check. Okay, so sitting up so straight and tall, I'm going to show you my screen and we're going to do our math talk together. Just up here. That way we can do our math number talk together. So, so I want everyone to scratch their brain. The first question asks us, what does your math brain notice? And that's something I'm going to be asking you when we look at these pictures. Because your math brain needs to tell you what you notice so then we can compare groups, right? And so you might even see this thought bubble. And this thought bubble says, I see. And when I put the thought bubble in my screen, I'm going to use it to say my answer. Got it? Check. Very good. Okay, so sitting up so straight and tall. Would you rather, hmm, would you rather eat this pile? of candies or this one single candy? Hmm, what's my math brain noticing? Well, I see some more candies in this group and I only see one solitary, solid, can you say that word? Solitary, solitary just means one. So, hmm, point to the one that you would rather eat. I'd rather eat this pile too. What did you see that told you you'd rather eat that group? Yeah, you saw some more in that pile. It was bigger, wasn't it? Give your brains a kiss. 
So smart mathematicians. Let's do another one. Hmm. Would you rather eat this group of Skittles or eat this group of Skittles? Well, first, think about your math brain. Tell me what you see. I see. Wow, I think I'm seeing the same thing. I see several Skittles over in this pile. This Skittle pile has many more than this smaller pile. So I'd rather eat this bigger pile. If you agree with me, show me same, same, same. Yeah, just like that. Give your brains a kiss. So smart. All right. This time, instead of candy, we get to look at some liquid. Would you rather have this bottle of strawberry milk or have this bottle of strawberry milk? Hmm, I know your math brain is noticing something. What do you see? Miss Shay sees a similar thing. I see that this bottle is about halfway full. It has several drops of milk left in it. And I see that this bottle is empty. It's see-through. So point to the one that you'd rather drink. I'd rather drink this one too. Same, same, same. We're gonna take what we learned about comparing two objects. We're gonna build on it using the math vocabulary. Greater than and less than. That's our job today because say it after me. I can, say it, I can compare two sets of objects, compare two sets of objects, and describe, and describe as greater than and less than. Wow, give yourselves a boo ya. Boo ya. So, you already know how to compare two sets of objects. We're just gonna add in our math vocabulary. Let's look at these jars of gumballs. Point to the gumballs you would rather eat. Yeah, you'd rather have this jar of gumballs because it's greater than, say greater than. Greater than, very good. Greater than, another word for greater could mean more, larger, or big. Oh yeah, I'm making a connection to our number talk. We use some of those words to describe objects. Now, this is a jar of gumballs you didn't want. How come you didn't want it? You're right. You didn't want this jar of gumballs because it's less. This one has fewer gumballs, a smaller amount, or tiny. Say the word less and say the word greater. Now, I'm going to remember what we do with our hands go straight to our brain. So I'm going to show you a special math hand signal. And every time you say greater, you're going to use that math signal. Show me your hands. Ready? Get it ready. This means greater. Say greater. Greater. Do it again. Greater. Very good. Show me your hands. This means less. Say less. Less. Say less. Less. Show me greater. Greater. Wow. Show me less. Less. Give yourselves a hula hula. Hula hula. Hula hula. So let's take a look at my board so we can compare two sets of objects using the words greater and less. Okay, so while Miss Shay's been at home, she wanted to start sewing. And so she had two packages of buttons. Let's count how many buttons she had in her first package. Ready? Watch as I touch and count with me. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many buttons? Nine. Wow. Let's count the other group. Begin. One, two, three, four. How many buttons? Four. Now, I want you to touch your math brains. When I snap, I want you to tell me which number is 
greater than. Are you ready? Nine. Nine is greater than four. Can you say that with me? Nine is greater than four. Well, let's start a math sentence using the word four. Four, yeah, four is less than nine. You guys are so smart. Give yourselves a home run. Home run. Okay, in this next problem, we're going to count cubes. So let's take a look again at my board. Miss Shay had two sets of math cubes. She had one pile of math cubes. She had another pile of math cubes. We're going to count our cubes and compare. Let's start with this. Oh, did you say that you already know that this pile is smaller? You already know it has less than? How did you know? Wow, because this pile has several more cubes than this pile. But let's count just to make sure. One, two, three. How many cubes? Three. I write the number to represent it. Let's count this pile now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many cubes are represented? Seven. Okay, when I snap, I want you to tell me which number is greater than. Seven. If you said seven, give your brain a kiss. So smart. Seven is greater than three. Do it with me. Seven is greater than three. Now let's say three. Three is less than seven. So you guys did an amazing job comparing two sets of objects. And if you come back tomorrow, I'm going to show you what a math symbol looks like to represent greater than or less than. Here, I'll give you a sneak peek. Watch this. If I do this math symbol, have you seen that before? That means that 7 is greater than 3. So, I'll see you tomorrow to learn more. Bye, mathematicians! To get ready for our math job today, we're going to have another math number talk. And a math number talk is where you get to talk about math using your own vocabulary, and then we're going to use it to build upon today. When I say got it, you say check. Got it? Got it? Check. Wow, so mathematician sitting up so straight and tall. Turn on your math brain. Put your hands in your lap, in your lap. Now, I want you to be ready to tell me what your math brain is telling you. We're going to use my thought bubble again for I see. When I snap, you are going to tell me what you see on my screen. Got it? Check. Very good. So let's look at my first screen. I see. Count them. When I snap. You say the number. Three. If you got three, show me same, same, same. Yeah, let's look at some of these things. What number? Three. Say it. Three. This is how you spell three. Say three. Three. Three tallies and three bears. You say what you see. If you said four. Four, you are correct. You're growing your brain. Say four, four. Let's count the tallies. One, two, three, four. Very good. I see two bears and two more bears. That makes four. I also see that four looks like a shape of a square. I see. Let's see what it is. Oh, if you said six, give yourselves a booyah. Booyah. Yeah, because I see three on this side and three on this side. Six. Six. Let's count the tallies. We know that that's five. One more after five is six. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, you can show six a lot of different ways. I'm wondering, did anyone see... 
those black dots making any shapes? Show me same, same, same. Yeah, Miss Shay saw a few shapes too. And that's what we're gonna get to learn about today. So we're gonna go back to my screen and we're gonna learn about two really important rules when we're describing shapes. Got it? Hmm, what is my math brain telling me? I see all sorts of lines. What type of lines do you see? Yeah, someone might have said an ocean wave. I see an ocean wave right here, a dotted line, a squiggly line, and at the very top I see a straight line. Can you make your body a straight line? Boop. Straight line. Did you make your body a straight line? You're not wiggly, you're just straight. Very good. We will use straight, show me straight. Maybe with your arm, show me straight. We will use straight lines to make shapes today. Wow, okay, there's one more word. Can you say line, line? Can you say side, side, yeah. That's how we're gonna describe lines today using the word side. Hmm, what do you see? Yeah, that's like a playground, right? Maybe you've played on one of those before. I'm, I see swings, I see shapes, and I also see two lines coming together and touching. I'm gonna touch that. There's one line, there's one line, and together they're coming together. This is called a corner. Maybe you described it with your math brain as a corner. You could have said angle. And my mathematicians today are gonna say vertice. Wow, can you say the word vertice? Vertice. So show me your two lines. Make a vertice. Say vertice. Show me vertice. Wow, give yourselves a boo ya. Boo ya. So today, we're gonna use lines and vertices to describe 2D shapes. Now shapes are so special to learn about because shapes are all around us. You might see some shapes that are flat. Show me flat, flat. That's a 2D shape. There's just, they're two dimensional. You might see some shapes that are puffed up. Show me puffed up. That's a 3D shape. They're three dimensional. Now, today, my mathematicians are gonna work on describing 2D shapes. So when I say 2D, show me 2D, 2D, flat, very good. When I snap, if you know what this shape is, I want you to say it. Got it? Check, very good. Here's our first one. Hmm. What do you see? Don't say the name yet. I haven't snapped. Oh, I haven't snapped. I see round. Hmm, I see curved lines. Show me curved. Yeah, it's not straight like we were. It's curved. I see that it just keeps going, doesn't it? It's never ending. One, two, three. If you said circle, Give a brain a kiss. So smart. And if you didn't say circle, that's okay because we're learning it today. This is a circle. Can you say circle? Circle. Yeah, do you see any straight lines on this circle? If you see straight lines, give me a thumbs up. If you don't see straight lines, give me a thumbs down. There are no straight lines on this circle. So do you see any angles or another word remember is vertice on this circle? Is there anywhere that two straight lines meet? If you see angles or vertices, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you don't see angles or vertices, give me a thumbs down. Show me. Yeah, there's no angles or vertices on this because there's no spot for two straight lines to connect. What, what shape is this? Oh yeah, it's a circle. Can you draw a circle in the air? Whoop. Now, this shape, has three straight lines. Don't say it yet. This shape has three straight lines. And if you see these orange dots, 
I put those in the place so we could see where the vertices are. So let's count the vertices. One, two, three. Okay, three vertices. Let's count the lines, the sides. One, two, three. Hmm. When I snap, tell me the shape. This shape is a triangle, very good. Give yourself three snaps, one, two, three. Did you know that tri means three? Hmm, I remember that I've ridden a tricycle before and a tricycle has three wheels. That's a good way for me to remember that the shape with three sides and three vertices is a what? Triangle, very good. And it's a 2D shape because it's flat. Wow. So if we know triangle and we know circle, I wonder which one's going to come next. This shape. Hmm. Don't say it. Just describe what you see first. You go first. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you might have noticed the orange dots again. Those point out where my vertices are. Let's count those. One, two, three, four. So this shape has four vertices. Now, the sides are straight like we were at the beginning. Let's count how many sides there are. One, count them with me. Two, three, four. And all of these angles are in the corner, they're right angles. When I snap, tell me the shape. Square. Can you say square? Square. Draw a square on your carpet. Ready? Three, four. Can you touch the vertices? One, two, three, four. So if you know that this is a square, I've got another shape coming. And this also has four sides but they look different, don't they? What is different about these shapes? Hmm, tell me. Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. This shape sides are all the same. A square sides are equal, show me equal. That means they're the same, same, same. So if all the sides are the same, 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 it's a square. But this shape, not all the sides are the same because this one is what? Short, yeah, and this one is long. Now, my mathematicians might have noticed that the top and bottom are the same, and these two are the same. But they're not all equal. There are how many vertices on this shape? Let's count. One, two, you got it, three, four four vertices, four straight lines, two sides are the same. One, two, three. Rectangle, say rectangle with me, rectangle. I bet you can find lots of rectangles in your house. Now this is a rectangle. And the last shape we're gonna look at today is another 2D shape, show me 2D. So sitting up so straight and tall because then we get to do our math review. I bet you've seen this shape before too, but don't say it till I snap. Let's count the vertices. We're gonna start at the top, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six vertices or corners and let's count the sides. Straight lines, one, two, three, four, five, six. This shape has six sides and six vertices. Hmm. One, two, three. Hexagon. Say hexagon. Hexagon. Can you try and draw a hexagon in the air? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Put the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, Six. What shape did you guys just draw? A hexagon. Give yourselves a home run. Home run. Now, when this video is over, I want you to go on a shape hunt. 
And a shape hunt is where you can go around your house or outside and find shapes because they're all around us. Miss Shay went on a shape hunt, has four sides and four vertices, but they are not equal sides. Hmm. Class, what shape is this? It's a rectangle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's not a square because it's not equal. I see three sides. One, two, three. I see three vertices. One, two. Class, what shape is this? It's a triangle. I remember tri means three. I don't see any sides or any vertices. Class, what shape is this? It's a circle, you're right. It's a curved line that keeps going. You did such a great job describing 2D flat shapes. I'll see you next time.